Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a curve with a wave pattern in it. Now there are a number of ways in which you can do that. One is the manual way in which you just create a Bezier curve and then you just go into the edit mode and just align the endpoints something like this and you just keep on doing it to whatever length you want and if you go back here you can see that we have this wave curve now the problem with this method is that what if you wanted this curve to go from here to here then again you have to do it manually for each step but there is another quick method so in order to do that we are going to use an add-on so go to edit preference and in the add-on search for extra mesh object and just make sure it's enabled after that just press shift a and under mesh you can go to math function then select the z math surface and over here you can change the z equation to sine bracket x now here you can see that we have this plane so in order to increase its size just simply increase the x size so it will give you this type of pattern now you can increase the number of divisions so that it will give you a wave pattern now you can increase its size to however you want but make sure to define the size earlier because later on you won't be able to edit it once you are happy with the output just simply click anywhere and after that select the plane then you can press F3 then search for convert and just simply click on curves from mesh and text now over here you can see that we have this curve pattern now press 7 on the keyboard to go into the top view then make sure this curve is selected then press tab to go into the edit mode now press P to box select all the vertices from one side just like this then press X and just delete the segment now over here you can see that we have these few vertices left so just select them then press X to delete them just do it from both the sides just like this now press 3 on the keyboard to go into the front view and select all the points then press G Y to just move it along the Y axis just like that now you can go out of the edit mode by pressing tab again and over here you can see that we have this wave kind of curve so you can use it for different purposes for example you can create an object you can make it follow this path so this is how you can create a wave curve in blender with that being said this is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one